Health inequalities are avoidable, unfair and systematic differences in health between different groups of people and they reflect broader societal issues such as those related to income, housing, gender, ethnicity or disability. Supporting the health and care system to do more to tackle these differences has been a strategy priority for the fund over the past five years. A new 10-year health plan is being developed by the Department of Health and Social Care and NHS England that will shape the long-term future of the NHS. We believe a critical priority for that plan should be supporting the NHS to do more to tackle health inequalities and support people with the worst health outcomes. We have reviewed the fund's work from the last five years and in this long read, we've identified seven key priorities for the 10-year health plan. The first is that we need a cross-government health inequalities strategy to drive improvement and any plan for the NHS must align with the goals and ambitions in that plan. A unified cross-sector approach is needed to tackle the root causes of health inequalities, such as in education, employment and housing. Second is to reorientate the NHS to focus on prevention. Preventable diseases like cardiovascular disease disproportionately affect people from ethnic minorities and those living in deprived areas. So work to refocus the NHS on prevention is a critical step in tackling health inequalities. Third, radically change the NHS's relationships with people and communities, from power over to power with. Efforts should be made to work alongside communities, listen to their needs and act on them, and build trust through genuine partnerships. Fourth, tackle racism and discrimination in the NHS and cultivate a culture of compassion. This means NHS leaders must purposely focus on tackling racism and discrimination in all aspects of how it operates for their staff and for the communities they serve. Next is to equip staff with the capabilities to identify and act on health inequalities and capture learning. All NHS staff should be trained to understand, address and advocate for those affected by health inequalities. This is a critical part of making work to tackle health inequalities part of NHS business as usual, rather than an add-on. Sick is to empower place-based partnerships to take more decisions about how NHS money is spent. Local partnerships that include local authorities in the voluntary and community sector should be empowered to tailor decisions to community needs. The final recommendation is to actively support local voluntary and community sector organisations by implementing longer-term financial planning and a different commissioning approach. Local voluntary community and social enterprise organisations often find it difficult to work with the NHS and this needs to change. It's deeply unfair that some groups experience worse health and care than others. The development of a 10-year plan offers a real opportunity to facilitate the significant change that is so desperately needed. Transformative work is difficult, but the King's Fund is committed to supporting the health and care system with this task. And for more detail on what we think is needed to make this happen, please take a look at our long read.